festival. This is like walking into some kind of giant hey. glitter festival. Can you tell me about it? As you can see, I've been dancing all night. Well, not really, but yeah. But clearly you've been working yes. all night. Um, more or less. Um, there's a lot here, as you can see, but it's been over the course of COVID, as you know. And this is more or less what I've been doing my whole time. So is glitter yeah. been part of your yeah. childhood? I mean, that's why I can only imagine that glitter, glitter was somewhere inside. Inside somewhere. I think it, the first glitter painting was of my mum when I was around 14. And she was like one of my first life drawing like models. And she had a cigarette in the gardens. It was a super hot summer and she was wearing her brand pants. Super cool. Um, yeah, so she was very cabaret, like very like Bob Fosse in the garden. I was like, Mom, can I paint you? And all I had was a pencil case filled with print stick and glue and like those cheap glitter pens. So it was, that's how it started. And the last time I painted my mum was 2014. And that was the last time I painted her. And that was also a glitter painting, which is there. And this is it here. Which was using Bonnie's, my niece's stuff to hand that she was playing with, which also included glitter and glue. So yeah. It's just, I just like this. You just don't know what you're going to get with it. So COVID happens. Yes. You go into lockdown. <laughs> and then what do you do? Do you spend a ton of money on art? Or what no, happened? No, I went through a process of what, what am I going to do next? Or it was, it was fear. I think it was anxiety, fear. And I think we all faced that. Mm -hmm. I think you must have mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. And everyone let me know. It was the fear of the unknown. And job is fashion relevant. What am I going to do? How can I be creative? And... So I just thought, I'll go on one, I had a few glasses of wine, <laughs> as you do, you go on the website, you can't get anything, because everything's already sold out, because obviously everyone's budding artists now and fitness freaks. So I went on and I literally got, the only thing I could get was actually glitter. And glitter, and I was like, well, this is quite weird. So I just bought everything, and it was like £2,000, which was literally lasting me a week. Cause a once week I start, yeah, only? Once I start, got cracking, it was like, it was everywhere and I just went crazy and I think it was just the outburst and the, I had to get it out uh -huh. and I didn't know if it was good so or So it bad, was a kind of emotional reaction to COVID yeah. and a creative one. Yeah, and it was nice to be but, in the garden too. But Christopher, there are so many yes. uh, portraits here. I want to talk about some of these images yeah. and what they are. They're not really based on anyone. It's like, it's the spirit of people that I've known growing up, spoiled children or mm -hmm. all girls because mm -hmm. I'm obsessed with obviously the female form mm -hmm. and beauty and they don't take very long but there's so much fun and spontaneous and you can go crazy. But also you have your bigger uh, canvases yes. as well and they've also actually got beads on them and, and they tell me, that's when one of did the you first start ones. making these? The very beginning, that was one of the second, that's the second one that actually got ruined with rainwater. It got left in the, the rain, like a smoggy morning. It was again the, the scary thought of like painting on canvas, because I, I don't want to say I'm an artist or whatever, because I think that I don't really want to be labelling myself, but when you started painting on canvas, it became scary. Mm -hmm. But then obviously I got so addicted that I went from small to really big. And let's look at really big. Yes. Because really big is this. Yeah, this is like sort of like a mindscape. It's basically just me just playing around with colours. Um, yeah, and the glitter and making formations and grid like. And, but you're also using oil paint under here as well. That's acrylic, which is then like I really I play around with it before it dries. But these are like sort of like I call them mouths, even though they're very circular. Mm -hmm. But this is now a major preoccupation because lockdown yeah. happened in March. Have you been painting ever since March? Yeah. Non-stop. So there's like that, but there's also more of them in other places. Just because it just, the outlet, it just felt right. I didn't want to create clothes. I wanted to do something else and yeah. But now you'll find a way to do both. Absolutely. And I think I'm not going to like forget my roots. Like I love fashion. I love the process. But for me, it was the change element and how we have to process that, process that going forward. I don't want to be in this position next year doing thousands of pieces which is just mm -hmm. pointless because it's hardcore out there the retail environment's really suffering so no one's there to buy it <laughs> well let's look at the way yeah. you are going to translate sure. it into clothes absolutely kiss straight this lead the way slower <laughs> oh my <laughs> so this is where we are now <laughs> so this is the progression yes. of Indeed. the glitter work yeah into clothing clothing very 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 small collection of clothing which is inspired directly from the paintings 
was it always going to be the case that you would manage to turn some of the art into clothing? Um, it just felt really natural for me. I think it was the only progression we could have went down because I don't want to do a show. I don't want to put anyone at risk. So the idea of like physical garments next to the art, it just looks really good and it makes sense. It's a free sixty in a way, which is great. But these are this is beautiful. What yeah. is this? this is so this is a, like a Duchess satin, which has been digitally printed from the painting. We even have Tyvek fabric, which is sort mm -hmm. of like reminiscent of the postal dresses of the nineteen sixties, which I hand painted. <gasps> also the glitter. Is it all hand painted? Not all, but the glitter on top has been applied by myself. Um, so it's kind of like. I really loved the simple shapes, keeping it really effortless because it's all about the colours and the art and the textures. But um, yeah, it was it was a nice project to do because I didn't have this whole I this concept of big grand scale productions of shows or mm -hmm. collections because I just don't feel it's appropriate. And it would have been impossible to do a fashion Absolutely. show like you would normally do a fashion show. But these are works of art, so Thank you. so you presumably have to decide whether or not eventually they'll form or they'll form the basis of a collection or there'll be elements of them that sure. will form the basis of a collection. Yeah, and I think that's the road that I want to go down with me and Tammy. Like, we always collaborate with ourselves in some weird way, but this is a direct collaboration with myself. I haven't worked with anyone. I didn't see Tammy for six months. So how was she yeah. seeing what you were doing? I was sending little snapshots and like obviously, and thank God for phones. <laughs> um, yeah, it was like that, Zoom calls, but you didn't really see the the, gravi the gravity of all mm -hmm. how, the colours, the glitter, the textures. So yeah, I think she got a real shock when she saw the, the amount that I'd, I'd I had amassed. You've talked uh, in the past about the influence of the Louise Wilson yes. at uh, Central St Martins. We were very close, which was great. But the teacher's pet. Everyone else hated <laughs> the idea of me being the teacher's pet, but I loved it. Because <laughs> Louise, as you know, was yeah. a character. She was the biggest brat you could okay. ever imagine. In a way, she gave you the permission to do anything you wanted. Yeah. Louise is so brutally honest and she really gives you a true impression of what the real outside world is like in fashion, it's cutthroat. So the idea of taste, we always felt judged as outsiders, me and Tammy moving from Scotland, so she was like, taste doesn't come into it, it's just different, good or bad, doesn't care, who gives a fuck? That's what she'd say, she used to say fuck all well, the time. And she was Scottish. Absolutely. But she understood that idea that there was, there was certainly coming from Scotland, sometimes you, it, it, somehow it was feeling you weren't as good as other people. But it's always, I think it's just the way we were brought up and the humblest mm -hmm. part of, okay, it was a steel town. It mm -hmm. was like, it was just a great place to grow up and we were so lucky, but we were surrounded by people who weren't so lucky and yeah. we were always had that on our shoulders and that's, there's nothing wrong with that, but it did make us feel different. And the whole idea of outsider again, like outsider art has always been, mm -hmm. the, even just the idea of that, like people who are just so, untouched by the outside world but it's the raw emotion that they put mm. on the canvas and they don't have they don't have a clue who anyone is but it's just this raw rawness inside them it's very like it's just yeah it's just groundbreaking in my eyes but when you think of the people that have influenced yeah. all of this who would that be um fundamentally my mum mm -hmm. because me and her were together all the time growing up um I used to draw her, like I mentioned. But then the strong women in my life, like Tammy, mm -hmm. Sandra, my auntie Sandra, my auntie Mary, these amazing women who are still here today, thank God. And then obviously people who, even like this, like the Sarah Maris from American Vogue, mm -hmm. she really helped launch me. And she introduced me to Anna Wintour, like literally two hours after my graduation in Miami. So these are the things that I had to like, I couldn't believe that were happening because you're literally meeting rock stars like Anna Wintour and Donatella a week later. I was like, this cannot, this isn't real, this is bullshit, this can't be happening to me. But, but that was the thing that Louise instilled it. You were good enough, which was good. Which I think is so important today for kids especially, mm -hmm. that you don't get that enough. And I think the reality we live in, you should be encouraging kids to do anything they want. Because it's... Can, right can now. Right, right we now. We need it more than ever, for sure. So in amongst the abstracts and also the brats, yeah. you've got family portraits and, and you obviously you paint yourself and you paint your nieces. Yeah. But was that part of being with them during lockdown when you couldn't be? I, I suppose so. It was sort of like a, a nod to them because I couldn't be with them. But also, I got really bored with making so much mess. I'm really honest. I just thought, you know what, I'll have a day off and just, just focus on faces or portraits that, that are more real-like. Um, but yeah, 
it, I suppose when you reflect, look back, it was like, like missing them because I was really missing them. The contact is so important, especially growing up with young kids. They really do inspire you how yeah. radical they can be and they too are so radical. So you also, in your own portrait, mm -hmm. I mean, you look incredibly young. pensive, but, very, <laughs> and, but direct, you're looking at directly. Yeah, everything. direct. And again, I mentioned, I did a lot of in the garden. Most of these, actually, the ones like this were done at night because days went into night. You just were working the whole day. And as you know, we were locked down. You just didn't know what day it was or what time it was. So I was just so into it that, yeah, like they just rolled. Right. Did you find some kind of superhuman energy at this time? Seriously? Yeah, and I think some wine helped and yeah, that definitely helped. I'm not going to lie. Like, it was nice to have time to yourself and yeah, I didn't have my phone. It was just time for me and it was great. 